can that make people more open-minded when when a coach says I that? think it will um, you know over time I think everything in this world when it's first hits the surface everybody's against it you know as you read into it more you figure out more stuff and then people kind of adjust to it um, I can't say that I've read into it much um, I've never been the guy who's done it period so I can't say that I know much about it but from what I hear you know from whether it's football guys or you know, I think a lot of them do it because of all the pain that they go through you know so and when you read Steve's comments it makes a lot of sense you know when you look at something that comes from the earth any vegetable that comes from the earth, they encourage you to eat it, you know? So I guess it does make a little sense as opposed to, you know, giving someone a, a manufactured pill that, like if some take your pain away the way some of these pills do, it can't be all good for you, right? So I guess it makes a lot of sense. You know, when you, when you look at it, he talked about Vicodin and I mean, Toradol, like, you can be completely hurting and then take a Toradol shot and go through a game and feel nothing. Is that really good for you over the course of time? I doubt it, you know? So it's, um, I think it makes a lot of sense what he said when you really dive into what he actually said and not the initial thought of, oh man, it's weed. Like, once you get past that thought of it and the perception that's been of it for so long and actually look at it, it makes a lot of sense, but I think of course, we live in a world where the first thing that pops on your phone is Steve Kerr said he smoked weed twice, like, because they want the headline, you know, and then you read it and it's like, man, this makes a lot of sense. So, I don't know, does the league ever adjust to that? Maybe, maybe not. Are they scared of the perception? Probably so. Um, but, like I said, I've, I've never been a guy who's tried it. Um, I've heard a lot about it. And, I mean, I don't know, I just laugh at it because it's funny how you can tell me how I get hit and how my body is supposed to react. Like, I didn't know people in the league office was that smart when it came to uh, your body movements and, you know, I'm not sure if they took kinesiology, you know, and all this stuff for their, for their positions to kind of tell you how your body is going to react when you get hit in a certain position, so. Or, you know, you go up and you got guys that jump to the ceiling. These people that make these rules can't touch the rim. <laughs> Yet they tell you how you're way up there in the air and which way your body, I don't really understand that. Like, that's like me going in there and telling them, hey, you, you did something on this paperwork in here wrong. Like, I don't know what your paperwork looked like. So, I don't, it is what it is. Um, I think they made the rule and you, you make it rule like I don't care you know but if you're going to say it's an unnatural thing if it's an unnatural act no offense to James Harden but I've never seen nobody up until really James started doing it in my life that shoot a layup like this under your arm mm -hmm. that's really not a natural act either it's not a natural basketball play either so you know I'm hey if you're going to make a rule make a rule but um if you're gonna take unnatural acts out the game, then let's lock in on all these unnatural acts and take them out the game if that's what we're gonna do. So, I don't know. Um, let them keep telling people how their body react, I guess. They need to go take a, a few more kinesiology classes though, if that's what, you know, um, just focus on. You know, maybe they can take a taping class or functional movement classes and, you know, just, let me know how the body works because clearly mine don't work the right way. You, you, you tweeted a, a couple of pictures of some bad boys photos and some of that. What was that kind of in reference? Oh, you know, um, <clears throat> Bad Boys is one of my favorite movies. Bad Boys 2, actually. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies. I really enjoy that movie. Um, I can tell you every line in the movie. I can sit there and watch it with you and you'll listen to me instead of them. <laughs> Um, so, I was just watching Bad Boys. <laughs> okay. And as far as the Pistons one, you know, I grew up in the state of Michigan. So the Detroit Bad Boys is near and dear to my heart. Joe Dumars is like a father to me. Like, it's 
closest you know someone can get to being a father figure in your life that's what he is to me you know so if you see he's like the head of the snake in that picture